Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Broad Beach Bowls Club for the 2023 National Development Series. And what a cracking first game we had. And, of course, this wonderful bowls could not be brought to you if it wasn't for the sheer generosity of these wonderful sponsors right at home. A wonderful organisation, in-home care and assistance, and, of course, the Australian Institute of Sport. And Bowls Gold Coast would like to thank Bowls Australia for the initiative of inviting us up here to showcase this incredible event. We've got so much talent on display here. For those that weren't on uh, viewing the first game, we have got uh, four teams of the national development squads. And at the moment, there's uh, red, blue, yellow and green. And this game we're showcasing here... This afternoon is in the Paris section and it's a singles game and representing the green team is Cooper White Styles and the blue team is Brett Sellers. So two um, Queenslanders, very good friends, about to do battle against each other. It should be one heck of a cracking game. If it was anything like the first game, was uh, it was a fantastic battle between Kane Nelson and Nick Carl and Nick getting... Um, the chocolates with that one, but uh, really was one cracking game. And this one here is, should be exactly the same. I've been told that Brett had an outstanding game in his last game. I think um, young Cooper just went down. So it should be uh, one heck of a battle here. We've got a beautiful afternoon where we're sitting here in the marquee. It's a very pleasant 27.1 uh, degrees, 37% humidity. And just waiting for the bell for the competitors to start. They've had their two-end roll-up. And uh, they're ready to crank into their uh, business. And, of course, we have, uh, as I said, the, the uh, Australian selectors all here and the Australian high-performance team. of uh, Gary Willis and Karen Murphy doing a fantastic job with our high-performance. Of course, Becca, I'm not too sure if she's coming up, but... Um, the whole high performance team do an outstanding job. So one of the locals is marking this game in Tom, Thomas Nathan. There goes the bell. So we're underway. Looks as though Brett's won the mat. Uh, dictating what uh, what length he wants to start with. Uh, it should be one cracking game. So these two players know each other. Very well, both of uh, many uh, a game against each other in the Parabowls, and both, of course, in the um, the national development squad, which is really the stepping stone to the uh, to the national squad. So, okay, Brett, what I'd classify as about a medium length, with the mat being up a little bit from the tee and. The jack halfway along the line, so Brett playing his back end. I must admit, I, uh, during their roll-up, the two-end roll-up, they just absolutely peppered that ketty. So not a bad starter there from Brett. Just probably needs a bit more grass, that's all. <coughs> just drifting across the line. G'day, Dave and Heather, watching from Wagga Wagga. OK, Cooper White Styles playing his back end also, too. Yes, a bit like they did in the roll-up, just peppered the kitty. Good starter by both these players. Should be an outstanding game. Brett sticking to his backhand, got a bit more grass on this one here. Starting to work its way into the head now, he's not going to be too far away. With the run on this green now, that's been in full sun, absolutely superb. Be a beautiful green to play on this afternoon, as always, at Broad Beach Bowls Club. The greens here running absolutely superbly. <laughs> Good on you, Lisa. G'day, Adam. OK, Cooper, has he got the run? Not quite. Had a beautiful line on that one there. Probably chasing about another four or five feet of weight. Maybe in Brett's eye, but... I think he's going to stick to his backhand by the looks of things. Just 
Got to, oh, he's just dropped his grass line. Is holding the line at the moment, though. We may get a little, ooh, not quite. Hey, Cooper. He's around that one. Should start working into the head now. Yeah, lovely, lovely bowl there from Cooper. G'day, Gary. Adam. Yeah, should be some cracking bowls played in this one, mate. Both of these players are in fine form. Cooper's bowled. Don't know if it's gone far enough though. Said um, very experienced uh, player in Thomas Nathan, the marker. Now it looks as though, according to Tom, Tom is that um, Cooper is down. He's trying to sit the inside of this bowl. Oh, I just got the wrong side of it. Unlucky there, Cooper. Just needed probably a tad more weight on that one there too, but uh, it was more draw weight that he was playing there. But a very good attempt by the young man. It looks like it's just the one to um, to Brett, to the uh, blue team. Must admit, Robbie and I got our Gold Coast um, jackets on, and the players are very impressed that we're Barracking for the green team. <laughs> oh, I love their sense of humour. <laughs> I've had a crack of a game first up uh, this morning in the pairs. Uh, it was 18 ends, or 2 hours and 15 minutes. And Nick just being a little bit... Uh, had a bit of a win over young Kane Nelson. An absolute crack of a game with, um, of course, Nick teaming up with um, Brianna, who they teamed up together in the um, World Under 25s. And Kane had Lorraine Banks from Tasmania. Okay, Brett playing his forehand. Tell you what, he's not going to be too far away. Just going to sneak in behind the the kitty. Lovely start there by Brett. A couple of feet, probably 18 inches. The bowl just fell over. In behind the head. <laughs> Cooper sticking the same hand, playing his forehand. It'll be just a little bit runny with this one. Joshua BD. Where is Bruce? He's got a few doctor's appointments today, Joshy, but he will be home tomorrow. See that you must have had a win last night because you're still using capitals. Well done, Joshy. Hey, Bilzy. Thought you'd be going for Coops, mate. Good on you, mate. Okay, Brett not far away from the kitty with this one. Has he picked it up? Well, he just didn't stick with it. Holding a couple there, so Cooper had beautiful weight for the kitty now with his last bowl. He doesn't want to change too much, just his grass line. Can rest on either of these bowls. May have just fallen out. Well, we're about to get a call here, I don't know. Be pretty close by the looks of it. Yep, call was yep, Brett's got shot. Call was one to measure. Hey Brett doesn't have to change too much. Playing his forehand, once again he's got a good grass line. He's only got to rest on either of these bowls and it's gonna count. 
just going to sneak around the back. Now Cooper the same thing, he's just got to reach those back bowls. Okay. Cooper of course from the um, Mackay region. I don't think he's quite got the run on that one. Again, he had a beautiful line, though. <coughs> hey, Nan Smith and Ray Thorne. Go, Ray. Have all our viewers on board this afternoon. Should be one heck of a cracking game. Of course, our next game is a game of triples. So we've had pairs this morning, singles now, and triples this afternoon. Yeah, a great variety of, of uh, the disciplines of our great game. Tomorrow we've got singles, pairs and fours. So there we go, we've got a bit of everything. There's a split on there though. Um, they had to be a bit wider than that, young coops. Had the right idea, had good weight for that split though. They had very good weight for it. So I think Tom will probably put a Okay, two to Brett there. On well, you, Steve. Shared it. Yeah, Michael's beautiful down here, mate. So, uh, said where Robbie and I are at the moment in the marquee. Um, just to the left-hand side of this green there, you can see the marquee at the back. And it's um, where I'm sitting is 27.1 degree here this afternoon in the marquee. Absolutely uh, a beautiful afternoon for bowls. Michael, there's uh, not much of a breeze about. And uh, the green running absolutely superbly. Absolute credit to the green staff here at uh, Broad Beach Bowls Club. I know uh, Les is on holidays. Uh, if you call having a hernia operation a holiday, but uh, if you're listening, Les... Uh, from the team of the media team from the Gold Coast, mate, we wish you a very speedy recovery and uh, just love coming down here showcasing your uh, wonderful work, mate. Well done to you and your team. Okay, Coop's sticking to his backhand also, too. He's just got to sit inside this bowl here of Brett's. It's got the run. It's a great starter by Cooper. Not too far away. He <laughs> got on you, Michael. Okay, Brett, that's the bowl he's got to boot. Wasn't too far away with his first one. Brett just pointing had to be a bit wider. If he misses this side, I think he may just... Uh, he just caught the edge of that bowl, though. Just pushed him out a little bit more than he would have liked. He may have been able to get in the back door there, but not quite. Uh, Cooper wants to stay off this one, wants to drop inside this bowl. Whoa, just caught the edge of it, unlucky. <coughs> okay, Brett. Just got to correct his... Uh his weight slightly, he's about five foot behind the head with his first bowl. Any movement on this front bowl of his though is very, very beneficial. It's just going to sneak around this one here. Maybe just have a little bit too much run in that one. But it's a very handy location. Go 
uh, Cooper changing his hand. You can see the danger of that uh, bowl there of Brett's just out there on the right-hand side of the screen. He's moved to his forehand. He's yeah, just pulling up short. Look at the beautiful grass line he had on that there. Just chasing a little bit more weight. <laughs> Steve, it's a beautiful eight degrees in Dunedin. Oh, mate, it's beautiful here, bud. And Brenda says, very cold in Cape Town. Okay. Tell you what, Brett's got a beautiful line on this. I think his weight's going to be pretty good too. Just, oh, just thought he's going to get a little straightener off that, but he just missed it. Very good attempt there by uh, Brett Sellers. Okay, Cooper needs another four foot of weight. Once again, he's got a good line. Just don't think he's corrected. He's actually taken taken a little bit off. So. Looks like just the one there to um, to Cooper Whitestyle, so he opens his account. Just the one. Uh, Cooper taking the mat up a bit. Looks like it's going to be a, a, a shortish... Tight bend. Okay, yeah, it's very much a medium length. I said this for our viewers that weren't on this morning. So just to remind that this is a. Uh, this, these games are played under international rules and regulations, so it's not 21 metres that we're used to playing in our domestic social games and everything else in Australia. The great starter from Cooper has 23 metres, of course, is the international rules. So that's for the reason why those, uh, see those white posts um, out in the, uh, in the ditch on the right-hand side. The uh, mark on the black is the 21 metres that we play to all the time. Of course, they put these uh, these old boundary pegs out to indicate the 23 metre mark. Tell you what, see a great start from Cooper, but Brett's not going to be too far away. Gee whiz, that's a very good second shot there from Brett Sellers. Bowl just fell over. Oh, uh, Cooper. How good's his memory? She's going to sneak one round the back by the looks of things here. She's running round, so comes in behind the head. Very good bowl there from Cooper. Phillips says it's sunny in Silverdale. Good on you, mate. Okay, Brett. Doesn't have to change too much for his first bowl. He played it absolutely beautifully. This one here should start working the head, but I think just got a little bit too much run on it. A very good uh, covering bowl there, though. Something he could probably utilise if he wants to play a bit of weight on a Cooper's bowl. Uh, Cooper got a beautiful grass line on this one here. Working into the head now. Is he going to sit Brett's bowl? Well, that's a pretty good third shot he's got there. Hey, Nick, how are you, mate? Nick Twining from, of course, Edge Hill Bowling Club up in uh, Cairns. A good way to bowl there once again, too, from Brett. Probably just hanging out there. Probably not third shot. Could be fourth shot. Hey, Cooper. Oh, just sneaking through the head there.
to stick around with our grades three and four. And they'll be here all day tomorrow and the finals on Thursday. Okay, Brett. Got a beautiful line on this one. Just going to cut underneath. Geez, that's a great try. <laughs> Make sure he's only one down. Pretty important. G'day, Lynn, watching from Northern Ireland. Great array of viewers on board from all the way around the world. Great to see. Yeah, Wonder Coops. Cooper's just length it just a little bit this um this end. A little bit over three a uh, little bit over a medium length. Yeah, good starter by Cooper. Just looking about another foot of weight, two foot of weight. Grass line's not too bad. Uh, not too far away. There you go. So Brett Sellers playing his backhand. Playing away from the third green towards the uh, soccer field, soccer complex here. He's got a good line on this one here, just his weight. An absolute pleasure to have a, uh, a living legend sitting beside me. Karen Murphy. G'day, Karen. Hi, Brian. How you doing? Great, mate. What a great game we've got here. Two great young players who are really showcasing their skills. Yeah, absolutely. Perfect conditions here at Broad Beach today out on Green 4. And, uh, yeah, that, that green's just lovely to play on. And uh, the boys look like they've found it fairly early. They have, Karen. It's, uh, I must admit, this is probably my favourite green. <laughs> I've I, always enjoyed playing here. I do agree. And I remember your last game here against Joe Edwards. Yep, Pears. Yeah, Pears. It was a cracker. Yeah, uh, was it too dissimilar to today, I think? A nice sunny day, not too much wind. Well, this green here normally, as we said in the first game, it normally holds the shade, but once the sun hits it, Karen, it gets this beautiful finish to it. And as you see, Brett there utilising just beautiful grass line. And just uh, love the finish on the way it comes into the head. Both yeah. hands. Yeah, well, we, there was a, a bit of a dew this morning. And then obviously the, uh, the when once the shades off, it, off the buildings uh, dry out a little bit and the players will find it probably just widens up a fraction. Obviously quickens up and widens up a, a fraction. But just a really nice, uh, kind green that you can get back to the centre line well on. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more on that, Karen. Let's see another good bowl there from Brett. Sneaking in for... Sorry, for Cooper just... Locking in second shot, I should say. So it gives him the opportunity now because he's had the best backward there if he wanted to. Depending on what Brett does with his bowl, he has the opportunity to attack shot bowl. So a pretty important bowl by Brett here to maybe get third shot even. So beautiful delivery there by Brett. Worked on his game very, very hard over the last few months, Brett Sellers. Yeah, gets the bowl away really well, Brett yep. does. He's uh, not far away here. Played it very well. Little inside edge. Mm. Oh, not quite. But it's changed the shot that Cooper can play now, though, too, hasn't it? Like, I mean, Cooper really... Have a good look at it. Say he's going to... Still st stick on the same hand, maybe just get a roll or two out of his widest bowl, or if he's inside that, he's uh, on the money, I on think. On the money, yeah, absolutely. Uh, got, definitely got a few options there, Karen. Yeah, good delivery. He's actually played nice weight to this. Any jack through... He's got the back bowl away. He's just a fraction narrow. It's good effort. Yep. And just uh, just for uh, everyone watching at home, in terms of the matchups as far as the National Development Series go, in the para space at least in the singles. So we uh, we do have two females playing. So um, from a draw perspective, we did match up the the females to play each other and the. Uh, other matchups were based on classification, basically. Oh, yeah. So yeah. that's the way that we've done it. And um, so it's, um, yeah, it, there's some great matchups in 
well, obviously in, in the uh, in the opens and the and the para space for over this last next week, and um, yeah, all points are accumulative and go towards an overall team trophy. Well, the f strange part about it is that the green team come past and thank Robbie and I for uh, barracking for them. <laughs> so well, you are wearing green jackets, <laughs> yeah. the Gold Coast District Bowls yeah, yeah. jackets. <laughs> but we didn't realise <laughs> you're going to have a green team here, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> no, love, love the humour, you know, they love the banter with the players and also our, our viewers, which is uh, always great. They always put us on the right line. Now, for those of you who are not aware with the, uh, with the singles... It's first to 21. 21 up. Two, 21 up. Two hours, 15 time limit. Respot. Yep, respot for this. Yep. But, uh, I must admit, though, Karen, looking at uh, the games we did this morning, looking out over the green and then able to watch some of the conclusion of the matches on the green behind us, bowls in Australia's in good hands. The future is well and truly. And you've got to take your hat off to the high-performance team for putting together not only the squad, but you've got to thank Bowls Australia after COVID are getting this up and running so quickly, Karen. Yeah, we we were and thanks, Brian. Like we were, we were really um, fortunate that the AIS has um, funded this event. So yep. it's it's obviously a development event, and uh, it's been great to um, to have their support. And you know, events like this, as you well know, don't uh, aren't cheap. So no. um, what I love is it, it's a it's a real it's a great uh, incentive and carrot for our pathways players to. Um, to want to be selected in this event. And it's just obviously selected by the Australian selectors and then our Pathways coaches um, select the disciplines. Yes, yes. yes. So... Um, <coughs> Input. Yeah, we have we have more and more events in, in our Pathways and Development space um, which our players can strive to, to be selected for, which is great. So um, the more higher competition they play more often, you know, the, the more they're going to develop and the better they're going to get. I think you'll find uh, that I... You know a lot more about it than I do, Karen, but do other nations have the same setup as what we have here in Australia? Uh, no, I wouldn't think so. No. So in our um, in all our squads, so our Jackaroos Emerging Pathways, uh, and obviously our paras are inclusive of that, um, we have close to 90 athletes in our program. So yeah. um, it's a lot of a lot of players yeah. um, and a lot of, obviously, case management uh, through our Pathways coaches. Yep. So, um, yeah, the... the the program has grown and grown, um, and we we have workforce funding in which we can uh, we've now put s uh, quite a few of our pathways coaches on full time. Yeah, so which um, is fantastic. Isn't it? It's wonderful because they can give now more time to to their players uh, in their development and and case management within their daily training environments. And one of the biggest things too for the viewers out there that aren't aware, like I mean, to get to the top, it's not only the ability to play bowls. It's also, as you know yourself, Karen, played at the top for so long, it's your mental approach to our sport also too because to have that concentration level like you did for so long of your career and what 600-odd test matches is an outstanding achievement. And just if you can just tell the viewers a little bit of preparation before an event like this when you were coming through. Well, you never had this opportunity no, though. No, <laughs> no. Well, Gaz and I were only saying that last night. You know, I would have loved to have... Um, you know, I didn't really come through the Pathways program as such when I first got um, in my lead up to, to making my debut for Australia. So we were really, um, you know, in the Glass era and yes. Kelvin era, we, we really um, were just sort of in, within training and things, just do your best, you know. So, yeah, you talk to good players, nice. you try and be a sponge for information and, and try and get out on the green as much as you can and, and play that higher level more often sort of thing. So, but, but these players, you know... Um, you know, Gaz is very much um, his his mantra. I guess mm. is very much person first, player second. Yep. So culture yep. um, from a program perspective is is as important and sometimes nearly more important than uh, performance. So getting the person right um, and you know managing if they're happy off green and they happy. and they've got the performance and the, and yep. uh, you know under their belt already, then they're going to be happy. Uh, yeah, yeah. players that are that are playing well. So That's true. And a good, a very good mindset. But also, too, I mean, the concentration level, because most international... I mean, it's not like playing social where you just go, you see a great bowl here from Brett Sellers under that bowl. He's probably made two shots out of that. Played that with beautiful weight. But, I mean, you're out there from nine to five. And that's a hell of a lot of concentration at this level. I mean, it's different to playing social bowls, as a lot of our viewers no doubt play in that. And I think it's mainly... A lot of it's got to do with good mental preparation at this level. 
because well, they already have the skills. Well, there's so many. You know, we're blessed with depth. You know, in in, in Australia, we really are, and uh, uh, we've got, we have lots of events. Um, so when abilities are of similar, uh, right. you know, like uh, sort of levels and things like that, what yeah. else do we look for? You know, we yeah. look for you know how they conduct themselves on and off the green. We, we look yeah. for that that mental performance edge. You know, those players that are resilient, that um, you know don't don't get flustered, can manage their emotions when they're yeah. under pressure. Um, compatibility. Um, so that they're the sort of things selectors are, are looking at, I guess. And um, so it's not just, uh, you know, selectors selecting on how how well, well a player play, plays. Play, yeah. it's, there's a whole lot more that comes into it now. And we do a lot of reporting. We've got a lot of expectations for our our um, our program with mm. our players. Um, and they have to, you know, they do have to sort of, they've got reporting um, and... Lots of other things off green, sort of thing. So true. I think one one of the biggest things, and you'd be aware of too, Karen, when you're away for so long as the Australian players are, or no matter what nation you are, you're away from home a hell of a lot. It does come down a lot with compatibility with your teammates. Yeah, it it does. I mean, I mean, you you guys would know. You know, you you might be in a team. You don't. You're never going to be best mates with everyone. But, but if, you if, get on. Yeah, if you've got that common goal of wanting mm. to win, and you yeah. all work towards that, then that's mm. that's the main thing. Yeah, that's no, one of the biggest things I've said in my sporting career. You don't have to be best mates with everybody, but exactly what you said, as a team, you've got to gel the... And I think a lot of it's got to do with, uh, basically, performance off the field, to me, is most important too, Karen. I really do mean that. I think it means a hell of a lot. That Cooper's bowl to say it's well and truly in here. So it might only be the one. Good shot of stand there. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great job. Yeah. Uh, we we thank uh, we thank Broadbeach and uh, and their officials and markers and umpires who have uh, helped out over this week and also you guys who look at the graphics on uh, on the screen that the viewers can see uh, is wonderful and we really do appreciate it Robbie and Brian so uh, it's a pleasure. thanks saw, guys saw Robbie doing that one there Karen <laughs> yeah no he's very very good at what he does uh, and, yeah uh, but we don't tell him that though mate <laughs> we, uh, we love the fact that uh, everyone at home you know can can witness this event and all the other <laughs> events that you guys cover so um, yeah well even in the last game we had people overseas uh, grandmothers and that's watching their children play and that and even here we've got uh, people from all overseas there's Northern Ireland on board South Africa got people on board from everywhere afternoon Mr Green good to see you're out of bed mate we've been a bit nappy out your neck of the woods this morning Kerry mm. so we see Brett here he's been playing probably around a good medium to three quarter length so he's shortened this up a little bit one thing that has impressed me this year with all the players is the way they're varying the length so they so the opposition aren't setting in on a comfortable length that they're getting used to. And I really they're putting more thought in the game, Karen. That's what I'm saying. They're putting more thought they're just, not just putting the mat down and rolling it. Working with their uh, with their team coaches too, they've got game plans that they're going to put into place and, and uh, plan A, plan B and, yep. and beyond. So, um, you know, sticking to those game plans is is really important and also, um, you know, like just feedback and, and how they take that on from, from their coaches is super important too. So, you know, we sort of said to them last night, you, you may not play, you know, your, your best game every game, but it's mm. how you react to it and learn That's from true. it and what you get, get from it to uh, take into the next one. Well, I think one of the biggest things being also too is that you, you never worry about if you play a bad bowl, you worry about your next one. Yeah. Because you can't you can't go get it and start all over again. Yeah, so. control what you can control. Control, yep. And, and it's all about momentum as well. You know, if you can try and sort of eliminate those big numbers in singles and, and try and get a bit of a run on in mm. uh, within your ends, then, you know, that sort of gains momentum. And Another there's great two ball. great shots there from Brett. Well, Brett. that's... That's uh, world-class stuff there. Ever so true. But this young man here normally plays a very steady game, young Cooper. As I said, not only is he a bowler, I think you'll find he plays, uh, I think it's rugby league or basketball, wheelchair basketball or rugby league. And great yeah, shot. Great bowl, Coops. And having seen that being played, it's quite a physical game. <laughs> it really is a physical game. It is. So. Just got a, a shout out to Jason Shooten. So Jason uh, is Calvin Rogers from WA, his oh, yep. director. Yep. So Calvin was actually selected to play in this event, and uh, Cal's had some um, a couple of health issues of late. Oh, and uh, Jason is his director, and so yeah, shout out to both of those guys. Um, yep. Thanks for watching, Jason. Rog, if you're watching, yep. um, sorry you're not here. 
But, um, yeah, we actually uh, live streamed Kelvin in the um, International Blind Bowlers at Tweed Heads. Yep. And, uh, yeah, he had a great series there, Karen. He really did play well. Oh, he's I know top he's got health issues, so, yeah, all the best to you, mate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's Jason. He's his uh, director. Yeah, that was uh, fascinating to see. Like, I mean, we take things for granted and we complain about it being too hot, too cold. But to see those people, there's one chap there, Robbie got an incredible shot from from England. He, he held the string line with his uh, right middle finger. And he felt the edge of his thumb for his grass line. Oh, wow. And the shots that Robbie got, showing the viewers, this is how they get their grass. They f <laughs> you know, felt the string line, and he lined up his thumb where he just touched it, pointed awesome. delivery. It was just so good to see. So good. I made the comment before to JR. I said, uh, when we do the multi uh, the the multi disabilities up in Mackay in a few months' time, a few weeks' time, it's every person should have the opportunity to go and watch that because they'd have a brand new attitude. Absolutely. I'll tell what you what, Cooper's close Coops. here. What a shot. <laughs> great bowl, Coops. That is a great shot. Yeah. Well uh, played. Under made, pressure. Made two out of that. Yeah, there's a great bowl by young Cooper. Close to two anyway. You're pretty close there, Karen. I'd just uh, be remiss not to, to mention too, Brian, I'm um, just... Uh, thinking of, of WA, but uh, we lost one of our greats last night in Dennis yeah. Katunarich, and yeah. uh, our condolences and, yeah. and best wishes and hugs go out to Val. Um, he's a, a great guy, Cat, and uh, one of Australia's greats, um, and a legend in WA, so um, really, really sad news overnight to, to hear about of, of Dennis Katunarich, but um, what a legacy. Mate, couldn't agree more on that. I knew Dennis. Uh, I did the greens for Jack Eye back in 1988, Karen, at West Epping Bowling Club, and uh, Dennis played the very first game to open Jack Eye that, that, that year against um, Ian Schubert. And um, Dennis, after having a reasonable tournament, uh, come and gave me his Western Australian tie. <laughs> which still has uh, pride in my wardrobe at the moment. Oh, that's I lovely. I still wear it every now and again, thinking of Dennis, and uh, what a great guy he was, as I said. And exactly, I endorse your comments. Uh, Dead set uh, condolences to the family, because uh, the sports lost one of the true legends of our game. Yeah, sure did. I, and I, you know, I, every time I think of Val and, and Kat, you know, they're... Mm -hmm. Just a what a great pairs team. They just were they're just absolutely in love with each other. Those two. They were they were a great pair. And uh, yeah, it's going to be um, sad bit loss. Of a, bit of a tough time for Val, but um, yeah. yeah. Fly high, cat. Unfortunate that uh, C word pops up too often these days, uh, Karen. Yeah. Uh, it's something that uh, nothing we can uh, do about it. We just got to try and battle it. And what a battle we got on our hands at the moment between two. Uh, Two great competitors with Brett Sellers and Cooper Whitesoles. So Brett sticking to his backhand there. Good starter there by Cooper. Probably ran about two foot just short of the kitty, 18 inches two foot. Brett's got a beautiful line on this one here. So he's got the run just running in their head now. It's going to be a just pull up about, oh, I'd say that's shot. I look at it from here. Great quality, high standard, isn't it? Ah. Oh. These guys put so much time and effort into their game, Karen, and the, they reap the rewards that they so richly deserve. I mean, you put the hours in, you deserve you deserve what you get. And uh, both these guys, I know, spend a lot of time on the green. A great bowl there from Cooper. Great shot. Uh, maybe just running through the head, not too sure. Might be able to get a side view of that one there in a minute, which will give us a better indication. I love uh, this... I love the way the two boys get their bowl away so well. They're so smooth. Like, you know, Brett gets mm. right down. You know, he's all his balance, uh, well, the majority of his balance is on his front foot when he yep. lets it go. Um, yep. But the, you know, we, we always say, you know, in coaching, there's three things to, uh, you know, having a nice technique. And, and number one, not in any order, but number one is balance. Balance, yeah. Yep, yeah, obviously. And, and then just that smooth release is, is also super important. So he's... The, both of these boys do those two things in, in spades. And particularly, Brett, with his uh, disability also, too, with just having the uh, pistonic leg and, and the one leg for balance and everything. It's got to be critical, doesn't it, that he that he gets it right? Absolutely. And then and the third critical 
uh, component of that is being able to repeat it. Yeah, you know, yeah. Uh, time and time re- again. Repeat yeah. an effective technique. So. Uh, that's ever so true. One of the first times I saw Brett play, Karen, was a few years ago at Mackay. And uh, the fourth day, because of the humidity in Mackay, and they've had 12 games of bowls, like Brett's uh, leg was bleeding where the bastonic leg mm. joins and that. And Mate, he was still out there playing the last game. Would not come off. Like, just absolute uh, unbelievable. Yep. And his whole attitude was just absolutely outstanding. So another great bowl here by Brett. Good shot. Well, he's probably changed the angles there a little bit too by just flopping that bowl over. Yeah. Um, I think you'd have to have a crack at this. So you get both of those. Yeah, I think Cooper could probably play his backhand and try and split and run through onto the jack, which he has done. He's awfully Close. close. Well, oh, just like that. Great bowl. Yeah. Easy game. Never lost a game for yeah, you, Darren. No, absolutely. <laughs> no, that was a, a great bowl there from by, by Cooper. Could not have played that any better. But Brett now got the opportunity. He hasn't really got much space there by the looks of that there. He's uh, got to play the perfect bowl to get shot there. You can see the bowl in the in the ditch there, just the left-hand side of the, um, uh, of the number. So Brett trying to dead draw to the ditch. Tell you what, he's not going to be too far away he's by the looks this, of this. He's played this well if it pulls up. What a bowl. That's a great shot. <laughs> great end. Wow. Mate, like anyone would be proud of that, Karen. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> it's just absolutely fantastic. Oh, Kip's just coming down and saying, what have I got to do to get a shot, mate? <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful, uh, you know, concept to the to the format of this event in that the, the paras and the opens are... Um, combined in the one team, so yeah. there's there's five opens um, in in the open, obviously um, competition. But the the power the powers are playing singles and pairs, mm. um, so um, it's wonderful, really really good, and the, it's the uh, the cohesiveness of the of the teams um, from both an open and, and power perspective has been wonderful. They've just been one team, um, and I think it's it's just a great concept. So. Um, I think it's, you know, there should be a lot more of that. I couldn't agree more, Karen. I think you'll find that too with, um, the, as I said, the future of our game's in great hands. Just watching the talent on show here today and that first game of Pierce this morning was an absolute cracker with the, uh, with the world under 25 silver medalists um, up against two rising stars in, um, in um, Lauren Banks, of course, from Tasmania and um, Kane Nelson now mm. out of playing out of the Capella Bar Bowl Club. Moved, made the move from Belmont, where he's been at uh, most of his bowling career. So moved over to Capella Bar, which has got two incredible indoor greens up there this day and age. So it's a club that's really going ahead. So just see the uh, the age bracket and the talent on show. It's just absolutely exceptional. So if you're in the Gold Coast and you want to come and see some exceptional bowls, I recommend the next couple of days, get down to Broadbeach. Nice sunny days, beautiful conditions, and you'd... Uh, What's something, rising stars of the future here on two four greens, absolutely sensational. And some, tomorrow we've got singles, pairs and fours, if I remember correctly, Karen. So, yeah, the, uh, so everything's on show. So uh, for the Opens today, pairs and pairs and trips, and yep. then they play singles and fours tomorrow. Yep. Uh, and the the para players have all played singles today, and they, they go to pairs. So, um, yeah, changing up the disciplines tomorrow. Um, and, yeah, new day, new start, so... Well, yep, great opening to bowl by both these players, too. Brett, obviously, I think, got shot sitting just in behind the kitty. Cooper, just a tad short. You see there's not much in that. They're looking at the, the no. view up the top. It's, and I'm sure this head's going to change. Brett not happy with that one. It's pointed that he needed more grass immediately. One thing about these players, they know straight away, don't they? Yeah, yeah so we've... One, our um, sports psychologist has been working with our HP team in developing a, a program called the Mental Performance in Competition Program. So, you know, I think uh, over time um, we probably as a sport, and I probably mean worldwide, we haven't really documented the mental side yep. of the game very well. Yeah. Um, so we've actually, our, our pathways and development players here will be working within the MPC program to develop their pre-shot routine, you know, switching on mm-hmm. their intensity and, and switching off and, and uh, you know, basically committing to their shots 100% in, within their processes, um, you know, and, and their pre-shot routine, like every sports person in the world has a pre-shot routine, so and bowls is no different. Couldn't agree more. I think no one was more um, focused, in my opinion, 
watched you play for years and years and years, Karen. I mean, you went through the same routine with every single bowl. Yeah, fairly fairly robotic, I suppose. Like a, um, you know, I've probably I've worked really hard on my delivery over the years and spent a lot of time on it. So, and I think you know, it's it's a really important component to your game. Oh, Cooper just is just sat that bowl. (laughs) He played that with excellent weight there, didn't he? Just to reach the head. Yeah, but look, I mean, the amount of concentration you must have put in for that routine, and that's why you were so successful over the years. Because if you if if you get it right, your delivery's right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so that pre-shot routine and then executing the shot, and if you've got a, a decent delivery sort of thing, um, it certainly sets you in good stead. So, As I've said on air plenty of times, it's uh, when you get to our age, uh, it's the arthritis where it hits at point of delivery on how the <laughs> ball comes out, Karen. <laughs> yeah. You've got to go through that yet, kiddo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it hasn't hit me yet, but I'm sure it will. So Cooper's sticking to the forehand there. You see a great shot there of uh, Cooper's delivery. He's watching it intently. I think he's just pulled it across his body slightly, though. His weight's really you know, still just a tad short. So just uh, just Amanda, Jeffs has um, mentioned or asked how many ends have been played. Um, so in singles, we don't really record the ends. No. It's just the score is first to 21. Yeah, you don't worry about the ends in singles. <laughs> so it's, uh, two shots to Cooper there. So a great pick up there by Cooper. Locks it up at um, six all. What a quality match we have on our hands here, though, Karen. Absolutely. Two... Uh, very determined young athletes. If I was to guess how many ends, would it be 9 or 11 or around uh, 10 or so? It would have to be around about that. About that. So we've got some close scores. Uh, so the green team are playing the blue team uh, yep. out on green four here. We've got some close scores. So uh, green triples skipped by Chloe Morrison's up 5-3 against Beau Prideau on six ends. And then five all over on the far rink between Kane Nelson, green team versus Nathan Black. From the blue team. Mm. Black and blue, I've been calling it. Yeah, every time I wrote the card, I was no, in black, blue. <laughs> yeah, I can read that without glasses. Thanks, Robbie. Uh, <laughs> she's younger than us, mate. <laughs> Five all on <and> six. <laughs> Nothing wrong with my eyesight. Uh, that's for yet. sure, Karen. <laughs> uh, what a great start by Cooper, though. <laughs> Uh, Brett just running through, had the right idea to reach the head, but he's also put in a very good backward. Most important that if you're going to um, your first bowl when Cooper's played such a great bowl just to trail the kitty off the line. If you, no point being short, so it's a good bowl there by Brett, even though he's a fair way through the head. He's now got the option to play any weight he feels he can. Cooper again, just coming in behind the head here. Very good bowl there once again from Cooper, one on and one in behind. So really well, both well, both players with their with their last bowls, obviously getting back to the tee too, which is always a bonus. So if you're gonna if you know I'm gonna have a little bit of bit of a, a look to try and just roll the bowl a couple of times, like Brett yep. did, you know, yep. finishing uh, around the tee is obviously beneficial. And again, Brett on a nice line here, it's starting to work into the head. Just gonna sneak in around, just still just a little bit runny. But he's gonna sit Cooper's bowl there. Mm, he's probably a bit lucky there, Brett, you know, yeah. like if he misses that bowl, Cooper's drawn for three. So Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. So Cooper's just gonna take a little bit of weight off with this one here, but I think the last one was a little bit deliberate to make sure he had one in behind. Got a nice line on this one here, he comes down to his weight. I think he may have just overcorrected slightly. But it'll still probably be enough at this stage for second shot, and it would be too. It'll probably be in a little bit of Brett's eye, but it's really Brett's still got to be around that one. Someone's just asked what bowls Cooper's using. I think they're dynamics. I think they are dynamics yeah. too. Yeah, yep. No doubt Alan Vidler will be on no time to tell us that they're errors. <laughs> <laughs> he won't miss an opportunity. <laughs> uh, you'll be watching Al, I know. <laughs> Okay, Brett, is he around this bowl? If he is, he's got a great one. Leave it under it. He's locked uh, in a good second shot. That's a, a good second shot there from Brett Sellers. If you're going to drop any ones, always handy. No, always. Ha- no harm for Cooper trying to draw here. The jack, the bowl's probably three or four inches off the jack here, yep. so he can afford to sort of play to it. Doesn't he gets off off the front. That's okay. Well, that's Chance a- for two. Yep. Mm, Could not, be t- 
Brett? Yeah, don't think it's two, but yeah. it's pretty close. It's not yeah. too much on for Brett here, but just a dead draw. His weight was fairly good with his last bowl. Well, that bowl there is just jack high there. It basically gives him his grass line now too, though, Karen, doesn't it? You know yeah, right? yep. His bowl should start working. I think he may be just a little bit too runny, though. If he sits his bowl, oh, it's coming back into the head beautifully. Just his run. Yeah. So it could be two shots there to uh, Cooper. We'll have a look here. Nathan, uh, Thomas Nathan, of course, the marker. Very experienced player from the Broad Beach Bowl Club. Yeah. Yeah, he's got the paddles. So he'll let the players have a view, as all good markers should. I think it's important for our viewers at home, like if you do play a, 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 an ineffective bowl, you know, try and pick something positive out of it. You know, if you you had good weight and you were tight, you know, don't turn your back on it. You know, take the positive that, okay, well, I've, I've found the weight. Right, now I just need to uh, adjust my line. 100%. It's only two things. Okay. Sounds easy. It's, <laughs> you say it all at once, it sounds great. Mm. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I always try and do that, you know, like, and, I, and if I do play a, a poor bowl, I make myself watch it right to the end and go, yeah. yep, that was yeah. rubbish, okay, I won't try not to do that again, that uh, hurt. <laughs> That's ever so true, Karen. I, I always watch my bad bowls too. My dad always used to tell me that. Don't turn your back on it, no. you know, sort of thing. Uh, yep, punish yourself by watching it. Yep, okay, yeah. I won't do that again. I'll learn from it. <laughs> uh, Cooper just pulled up there on the edge, so gone back on the tee. So this is very interesting. Uh, it's not three-quarter, but it's medium medium to full because he's got the matter a fair way up on the line here at uh, Broad Beach Bowls Club. They're playing on the back green and, of course, the third green here at Broad Beach. Got Good tactic here from Cooper. I like it. It's uh, I always think with the jacks on the tee, any bowl between the jack and yeah. the tee is a good bowl. It's a good bowl. Couldn't agree more on that one. You're talking to a player that myself that loved short ends, Karen, so mm. I absolutely loved him. Me too. So Brett playing again, sticking to his backhand. Could be a little bit underdone grass line, I think, with this one. Just starting to sneak across the head now. Weight's really good. Yeah, weight's not bad at all. <coughs> Still yeah. good enough for one, but uh, I'm sure it's not going to be shot by the end of the game. The end of this end. And, uh, we better let you go, kiddo, and do yeah. some work. Well, I was just going to say the world champs aren't too far away, so uh, I think I saw a, th a post from Bowls Australia that was 50 days away for, to the world champs, That's which is just around the corner. So yep. It's going to be colossal. It's going to yeah. be really good. I, and if we've got weather like this and greens like this, yeah. it's going to be uh, something else. So looking, looking forward to the world champs. And, of course, we haven't had one since 2016, um, since the last while. time we played in Christchurch. So yeah, I remember that. It's uh, it's going to be great. And then, obviously, the World Champ of Champs after that at Rabina. Which you'll be participating in. I am. Have I you am. been rolling up, Karen? You've been playing I, few dogs. We, we played state pennant finals at Foster last weekend. <laughs> yeah, I see and, that. Uh, yeah. It was good, yeah. yeah. So, uh, no, I, I sort of – I don't play as much as I used to, but I yeah. certainly still prepare as well as I did. Indeed. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. if I've got something as important as the World Champ of Champs singles, I, uh, yeah, absolutely can't wait to uh, – to play in that and we'll prepare accordingly. Well, I tell you right now, of course, uh, we're live streaming that, Karen. And I, no one would appreciate seeing you back on the green in a competitive nature, as I'm sure a lot of viewers will do too. So we wish you all the best in, best in those events. And uh, I know you're busy, so we'll let you run. We appreciate your time and we hope to have you back in the next couple of days. Will do. Thanks, guys. Tom. Thanks very much, Karen. It's great to hear from Karen Murphy at... Uh, doing a lot of great work with the high performance team here at Bowls Australia and you can see the rewards that she's getting just watching these players because uh, gee whiz they've improved and Brett Sellers changing his hand here trying to sit these two bowls or even play onto his own I'll tell you what he's into the pack here he misses that one has he got shot well he has he's changed the head he probably end up with shot out of that one there and a big thank you to Karen coming in uh, saying a few words I hope all the viewers enjoyed A bit of a look there just to see how many shots. Yeah, I think you might have too, Simon. Hey, Faisy. 
Okay, Coops needs to just sneak inside this bowl, which he has done. Gee whiz, that's a great bowl by Cooper. That's a beautiful bowl. I'd say that is the shot. Okay, Brett on the mat. Got to beat that last bowl. May get a result off this bowl. Not quite, no. Okay, so that'd be one to Cooper, I'm assuming, there. A great bowl by Cooper with his last bowl. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he is from up that way, Simon. Okay, Cooper straighten the mat down. He indicated what length he's going to play. Just waiting for Brett to come down to double check. Players are very respectful that the opponent gets to view the end. Yep. Oh, it looks like they're going to measure for another one. So it just goes to show how deceiving the cameras can be at times. So uh, just going to have a bit of a look. That bowl could be in. I know they'll go to that front one there. Yep, it's the closest one. Looks like two. Going to do it again. Okay, just to make sure. Fair enough. Tom, uh, looks like two, two shots, so two, two to Cooper there, so handy pick up there to Cooper White Stars. Uh, Cooper. Yes, not quite back on the tee where it was last time, so just varying the length slightly. So, as I said, it's, uh, these players really give a lot of thought now to what length they're going to play. Okay, Cooper sticking to his forehand. Playing away from the, uh, the park end towards the third green. What a great start here by Cooper too. He's not going to be too far away. Here he is, that's a great bowl. Sitting just in behind the kitty. A quality game on our hands here. Okay, Brett, just going to duck under just his line. His weight's absolutely spot on there, but just uh, just needs just a little bit more grass. There's a little bit of breeze just starting to pick up slightly, and with the green running as well as it is, it does make a bit of effect to a bowl. Got to be a bit conscious to just take that little bit extra grass. Okay, Cooper. Uh, again, he's got a beautiful line on that, just pulling up just a tad short with that one. Okay, Brett sticking to his forehand once again. Got a better grass line on this one here by the looks of it. Tell you what, the weight's looking pretty reasonable at the moment too. What a great bowl here by Brett Sellers. Looked in a great second shot there. Uh, Cooper now. Got the opportunity just to play inside that bowl for second shot, but the only thing is he doesn't want to fatten the target. It should give him something to sit on. So they've just got to make sure that he's got a good grass line. Maybe even just trail the kitty. Uh, just dropping across the head there. There's a bit more weight. About another three foot of weight also too. 
All right, Britt. Sticking to his forehand. Hey, what is he awfully close? What a great bowl by Brett Sellers. Pluck that one, sh one shot by looks of it. Great bowl there by Brett. Yeah, it is Derek, and it's fantastic to watch. Really is. Right, Cooper making up his mind what to play. It's like he's going to stick to his forehand. Any movement on his bowl, very, very beneficial. I've got to be a bit wider than that. Had good weight. Just needed a bit more grass. Okay, Brett, can he repeat that dose? It was a magnificent bowl he played with that last one. Cooper played a great bowl there to get shot, but uh, Brett, I'll tell you what, he's in the air if he's got the weight. He snuck through for another one. That's that's two very, very good bowls there by, uh, by Brett Sellers. Just snuck through that little gap there. Uh, that's uh, two to Brett Bollocks with it. Handy pick up. Just Tom just waiting for uh, the competitors to come down and check their head, as good markers do. Yep, two shots. Two great bowls there from Brett Sellers. Okay, Brett. See what length he rolls. Like he's going to keep it reasonably just over the 23 metre mark. Yep. And here the choppers coming in. <laughs> oh, Michael. <laughs> yeah, absolute legend, mate. Ever so true, Michael. Great guy. So Brett's just pulling up a bit short with that one there. Very uncharacteristic bowl from uh, from Brett Sellers. Now, Cooper, is he inside? Can I get a little inside edge? Exactly what he needed. <laughs> Michael Kent's just making the comment that the greens here are absolutely superb. He said, the, of course, he's from uh, the UK. He said, the Lincoln Leamington greens in UK are running seven seconds. That's four one way and three the other. <laughs> uh, these are running absolutely beautiful, Michael, as you can see. The finish on these are just absolutely excellent to play on. You just got to aim it out there and... Uh, let the grass do its work. Okay, Coops. Playing his backhand once again. Uh, perfect line. Has it got the run? Whoa, could be close. Could be close. Right. 
Right, Brett playing his... So, going to his forehand with this one. Not a bad idea. He just sits inside that wing bowl. He'll have shot, so that basically tells him his line that he's after. Yeah, and that's a great bowl there by Brett. Played that beautifully. Yes. Call from um, from Tom to Coops was that he is one down. What a great bowl there from Cooper. It's <laughs> a sensational bowl. Played that absolutely superbly, the young man. Just uh, corrected his weight. And, uh, absolute beautiful bowl there by Cooper. Just out drew Brett. Now, Brett, no doubt saying, you're not going to do that to me, mate. Okay, on his forehand. Just a little bit runny, I reckon. Very close to it, though. Not too far away. Yeah, Cooper, I tell you what, he's got this very well pointed once again. Oh, maybe not. Just out, I reckon. And, of course, uh, Brett Sellers plays out of the uh, Salander Lakes club up at Bribey Island. So, Simon, you would have played against Brett, I'm sure, at um, Boonaroo. So, uh, Brett normally supports those events, mate. No, um, they've got a nice guy, Brett, I'll tell you that right now. Okay, Coops, just the one. 11 8. What a great game on our hands we've got here. Absolute first class bowls by both of these players. Playing superbly. Okay, hey, Cooper's sticking to his forehand, playing away from the soccer end, the sports field end. What a great starter here by young Cooper. A beautiful bowl sitting just in behind the head. That's a great bowl. If you remember this, only a few uh, few weeks ago, ladies and gentlemen, there were stands all over this green, and uh, Aaron Sheriff put on a masterclass performance to um, with young Jacob Nelson from the Belmont Bowls Club or Capella Bar Bowls Club. Now, what a great bowl by uh, by Brett! That's a beautiful bowl. There's only a gap of about four inches, five inches between that bowl and uh, the kitty. So Cooper, that's the bowl he's got to beat. Yeah, what well, he's not going to be too far away neither. Oh, just pulling up a bit short. Gee whiz, great, uh, great reply there by uh, by Cooper, but just not good enough. So a beautiful bowl for my Brett. How good's his memory? Okay, how's his weight working into the head? He's just going to pull across the head by the looks of it. So Cooper, going to stick to his forehand. Just running around the back. Yep. He had the right weight, the right idea, but just not quite the right line. Okay, so still holding one, Brett Sellers. 
from the Salander Lake Pole Slop up in Bribey Island. Just going to drift across the head here, unfortunately. Just if he's in the inside edge of that bowl, he probably would have ended up with third shot. Okay, Coop. Found the gap. Uh, just the one down. Yeah, very good game of bowls, this. Now Brett trying to add to it. Yeah, he's just going to pull up a tad short. Definitely locked in the one. So that's uh, one shot to Brett. So coming down to uh, have a look. Yep, Wonder Brett. Very good head, that the one there. It was, it was a very good head. And, of course, the next game is a triple game, which is going to be Chris Rosanis up against Bo Prado. Uh, should be uh, one heck of a crack of a game, that one. Game of triples. Starts at 3 p.m., goes through to 5.15. Two ball. 18 ends. Should be a crack of a game, that. OK, Brett, got the mat back, not not all the way back to the tee, but uh, yeah, it's halfway along the line, probably three-quarter way along the line, so back towards the tee, but not nowhere. Good medium length. As I said for all our viewers that uh, weren't on board this morning, it's uh, playing international rules, which is um, 23 metres. No, it's not just 20, 21 metres in this, it's 23 metres. Yeah, great starter by Brett, just sneaking in behind the head. Handy location. As it falls over. So, Coops. On his back end also too. Beautiful line here. Has he got the run into the head? He has. Yeah, good ball there by Cooper White Souls. Okay, Brett. That's the ball he's got to beat. A little bit of trial of the kitty. Very beneficial. Brett sticking to his backhand. Starts working just a little bit too much run. He was beautiful grass line he had on that one. Hey Cooper, sticking to his backhand also. Trying to repeat the dose. Oh, he just wanted to sit one of those bowls. Yeah, a bit unlucky there. But he's come to a good home. I'll tell you what, Brett. Not far away with this one. That's a... Beautiful correction by Brett. Uh, Cooper's still holding one with the call from Tom. Tom Nathan, the marker. Very experienced marker from the Broad Beach Bowls Club. So Coop's trying to beat that last bowl of Brett's. On a beautiful line here. Yes, 
Beautiful bowl there by Cooper White Styles. Don't get much better than that. Beautiful bowl. They'll be holding two shots there. Brett with his last bowl. Looking for just dead drawing it. Just a dead draw. Okay, Brett. Great line if he's got the weight. Oh, what a great ball. That's a great ball. D shot. Right, Cooper. Not going to be too far away. Has he got the edge of this bowl? Oh, he has. What a great bowl by Cooper. Just got the edge of that bowl and ran it out the head for two shots. <laughs> oh, I just laugh at that. Brett was about to hit Cooper with the mat. <laughs> just in jest, of course. But that was just great bowls by both those players. That was first class, absolute first class. Handy pick up by uh, by Cooper. Okay, back towards you see the T there. Back towards the uh, the T that kitty. Coop's not happy with that one. Not happy at all. Robbie reaching for his jumper as the temperature starts to plummet from 27.9 to 27.7. No, <laughs> oh, Brett sticking to his forehand. Not looking too bad. Just going to be a little bit underdone grass line. Weight absolutely spot on. Good starter there by Brett. Yeah, it was a big bowl, wasn't it? On your way. Hey, Coops with his next one. Just running through the head. He wasn't far away. Okay, Brett sticking to his forehand. Be just a little bit wide with this one. Once again, though, the weight was absolutely spot on by the looks of that. Pretty close. And Coop, Coops doesn't have to change too much here. Just trail the kitty or just take a little bit more grass and dead draw it. He's pretty close to the kitty. Oh, what a great bowl, Cooper. That's a great bowl. Taking it back to his other bowl. Gee whiz, I don't get much better than that. Beautiful bowl, but there's a shot on there for Brett, probably on his backhand. Even playing through that bowl of his, or if he's just under it, he should take shot bowl out and sit there. Opportunity of even getting kitty if he's under it. Depending on what weight he plays, or he plays onto his own, he'll also get a result. Oh, just a bit wide with this one. Perfect weight for what he's after, though. Absolutely perfect weight. Right, Cooper doesn't have to change too much. Played it absolutely magnificently with his last bowl. Picked up Kitty, got it right in the belly. Tell you what, he's on a perfect line. Oh, dear, just pulling up. Look at that line he had. Absolutely spot on. He's not happy. But holding two, big bowl here from Brett. 
Nice shot for him to play. On his backhand. He's close. He is very, very, very... Oh, just the wrong side. Gee whiz. He gave out every opportunity. Uh, not too sure, Wayne. Um, we haven't got the results. Um, she will be on the stream sometime, though, Wayne. So it's a great pick up there to, for Cooper. Two shots. Brett was very unlucky with that last bowl, though. He had it absolutely perfectly, uh, perfectly weighted. He just got the wrong side of Cooper's bowl. If he'd even hit that bowl half an inch the other way and got in the belly he probably would have stayed for shot he just caught the edge of uh, Coop's bowl where um, just moved it back Coop's already had two there anyway so so Coop had just lengthened this one out just a tad more too just you see very close to the end of the line there very close to the T as you can see the T there ok Coop's he's egging it to come in <laughs> G'day, Dolly. He's going all right, Doll. He's going pretty good, kiddo. Yeah, it is great, uh, great bowls, that's for sure. Yeah, it's just... Stayed out there a little bit there, just uh, a little bit too much weight on that one there from Brett. So both of them just have to do a bit of uh, correcting with their second bowl. And Cooper seems to be on a pretty good line here. Uh, great bowl by Cooper. There you go, Dolly, how's that? Okay, Brett reverted over to his forehand. What a great bowl by Brett. Yep, two shots out of that. That's a great bowl by Brett Sellers. That's a pressure bowl. Sorry? Okay, Wayne Evans, um, Jody lost 12-17 um, in the first game. Okay. Yep. Yeah, they ran out of time, yeah. But um, hopefully she will be on the stream sometime, if that helps at all, Wayne. Sorry about that. Um, She's on tomorrow, second game. Okay, on tomorrow, Wayne. Okay, Brett with his next bowl. Played it magnificently with his first, with his last one. He's egging this one. He said, only if I could chuck it again. <laughs> oh, gee, he's had a beautiful grass line on that one too. Yeah, he certainly is, Jim. Said Coops is from uh, the sub South Suburban Bowls Club up in Mackay. And, of course, um, Brett is from Salander Lakes on Bribey Island. Now, Coops just didn't send that one. Um, can't see Josh from here, uh, Renee. I'm sorry, he's on the green... Behind us, so um, I can't help you that one, unfortunately. Renee, we can't see in behind us. Apologise for that, but we'll get the results and uh, let you know in the next game, Renee. 
Yeah, it is great bowling, Wayne, isn't it? Both these competitors are playing playing their hearts out, mate. Both of them. It's absolute credit to watch. So it We'll see what we can do, though, Renee. OK. Sorry, Matt. Yeah, Robbie's going to go and have a look for you in a minute, Renee. We're just waiting to see the result from here, and he'll do the scores and set up for the next one. Uh, going to have a measure. Very steady hand. Well and truly in that one. Looks like two shots. Two shots. Good pick up there to the blue team, represented by Brett Sellers. Yeah, we'll have a look in a minute, Renee, which when we set everything up. Raylene, sorry, Raylene, I should say. Oh, here it is. I'll get rid of some of these spots on the left. I might be able to see. <laughs> Don't know what it is on these glasses. Oh, that's better. Hey, yeah, good stuff. I can see now. <laughs> okay, Brett. Sticking to about a medium length, Brett is playing his forehand here. Not going to be far away as his bowl starts working into the head now. Yeah, good first up bowl by Brett. Just needs to just cut his grass line down. His weight's not too bad at all. Okay, Coop sticking to his forehand too. He's up 15-9. He's playing young Lucas, so Josh is up 15-9. OK, good starter there from uh, Cooper. Probably ran through probably a little bit more than what he wanted to do, but um, still holding one, but it's well and truly out in the open, so uh, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of bowls inside these ones. Brett just running through the head there. Okay, Coops on his forehand. And a lot closer with this one. Gee, that's a great bowl by Cooper. Just sits in behind the head. Uh, both of these players are playing superb bowls, aren't they? They really are. Absolute credit to them. Okay, sticking to his forehand here. Brett Sellers. Got a nice line on this one here as it starts working the head. Not going to be too far away. Gee, that's a great bowl. Be pretty close. Okay, good call. Bye, Tom. Yeah, I thought Coop 
change his hand. Little trail on here. It's worth three. Whoop, he doesn't want to take it out. Whoop. And he's got three very handy bowls in behind the head. He just took it. He, I think you'll find he was down anyway by the looks of it. So he was definitely down by the looks of that there. So um, great bowl by Brett once again. And look at his number of these players is giving up, I can assure you of that. Another great bowl here by Brett Sellers. He's not going to be too far away as his bowl's running into the head. Uh, that's great bowling by Brett. And it fell over. Now that trail can still be achieved. Okay, Cooper. Oh. Gee whiz, he did miss that by much. He probably would have got both them at that angle. No. Uh, it's two to Brett. Great pick up. So 15, 13 now. Okay, Brett. Not the mat. About halfway up the line, you could say. Fifteen, thirteen, anyone's game. Still forty five minutes of time. Time frame up. Keeping it pretty much medium length. Okay. Who's playing on the next game, Joshua? Chris Rosellis and Bo Preto. Bo Preto and Chris Rosellis. Game of triples, um, Josh. Okay, good starter here from Brett. He's not going to be too far away. Yeah, great bowl. Great first up bowl there by Brett Sellers. So Coops will probably stick to his backhand too, I reckon. Play this very, very well, Cooper. Oh, what a bowl. What a ball. Great ball, Cooper. Good ball by Brett first up, but Coop just outdrew him. These two are having an unbelievable tussle here this afternoon. Really is a pleasure to be here watching it. Okay, Brett very well pointed once again. Maybe just a little bit underdone weight-wise, but gee whiz, look at his grass line, absolutely spot on. No, not by much. Nearly fell in. <laughs> Very close to falling in. But Cooper's still holding one. G'day, Di Nixon. Okay, Coop's... So on a good line, trying to sit this back pole here. Just quite hasn't got the run, but he had a beautiful line on that one, Cooper. Okay, Brett doesn't have to change too much from his last bowl, I tell you. He's not it wasn't far away at all. Played it absolutely superbly. A bit more of an aggressive line here by Brett. Oh, what a great try. That was a great try by Brett. 
Uh, Cooper's still hanging in there by the skin of his teeth. Yep, just make it. Just asking you a few questions, uh, Cooper. They're very good questions, too. He's in a bit too mind to you. I think he's... He's... Like he's gone to his forehand, by the looks of it. Uh, backhand, I beg your pardon. Yeah, I'm glad he's stuck there. He just had to miss that. He had a beautiful line on that one there for what he was after. But he's probably protected that shot bowl a little bit too for White. Oh, Brett having a good look at the head. Yeah, you're dead right, Jared. Some great bowls by these players. It really is. It's first class, isn't it? Absolute pleasure showcasing this wonderful game. So, Brett, playing with a little bit of weight. Oh, he's not happy. He said I should have been out there a bit wider. And you know what? He's right. He's beautiful weight, though. Look at that for his weight control. Absolute superb just to try and draw that off. Okay, Coops, looking to come down in between that bit of a port there on the left-hand side. He's not going to be too far away from it, but just not going to quite get back in time. But gee, that's a great try, though. Okay, Cooper. Okay, let's it out a little bit more. You can see Kenny back pretty close to the two. Playing his forehand, played this very, very well. Playing back this way, young Cooper. And again, a great starter with his first bowl. Just sneaking past the kitty. Very good first up bowl by young Coops. Okay, Brett. Tell you what, he's played a gem of a bowl here too, just quietly. That's a great bowl there by Brett Sellers. That's the shot. Perfectly weighted bowl. So Cooper, little trail, or just dead draw it. He's egging it to come in. He had that perfectly pointed, just a little bit more white. He was straight onto that. So, Brett, yeah, changing his hand. Bit of danger on the uh, forehand there for Brett with that bowl of Cooper's being on the run. I mean, both, both hands are drawing absolutely magnificently, so it doesn't matter what hand he plays. A uh, great ball there from Brett. Probably second shot.
Once again, just asking some questions there by uh, by Cooper. Still 37 minutes to go in this game. 16-13 to Cooper White Styles over Brett Sellers. Cooper from the South Suburban Bowls Club in Mackay. Brett from Salander Lakes up on Briarby Island. A beautiful way to bowl there once again from young Cooper. Needs a bit more grass. So be holding two there, I reckon, um, Brett. He yeah, could be a little bit underdone with this one here, Brett. I don't think he sent this one. Again, his grass line, though. Couldn't get any better. Okay, Coop. Big bowl here. Young Cooper White Styles. Oh, he just missed that. That was close. He had good weight for what he was after. He was after the kitty or the bowl. Kitty he really wanted. Would have been worth three shots to him. But um, anyway, not to worry. Get on to the next end now. So Brett with his last bowl. Can he make it count? Yes, he can. That's a great bowl. Looks like three. So we're all locked up at 16 all, I reckon. By the looks of that. So what a great finish to a great game. A cracker of a game we've had here in this game. Uh, Rosemary Robinson, watching from Charlestown. Good on you, Rosemary. Yeah, it's pretty good, Dave, isn't it, mate? Uh, Bacco, I think he has changed his bowls, mate. Yeah. Playing pretty well with these ones, though. How's Boyne Island today, Bacco? Bacco? Okay, Brett. Said 16 all. Business end of the game. First to 21. Or 2 hours and 15 minutes. So. Okay. Brett on the mat. Probably medium to three quarter length by the looks of it. Like he's got a pretty good line on this one. Working down. Yeah, it's not going to be too far away. You're just going to sneak in behind the behind the kitty. Yeah, not a bad first up bowl. Ran on a bit further than I thought, but it's still handy there. And he behind the head. And the greens are running this well, always very beneficial. Right, Coops. Stick into his backhand also. Not too far away, the young man. Yeah, what a great first up bowl. Well done, Cooper. Beautiful bowl. Okay, bit of pressure on Brett after that one. Brett. Sticking to his backhand, trying to dead draw this off by looks of it. I'll just even crack an egg on it to spit it out in the open so we can have a good look at it with his next one. Uh, that's a very good second shot there by uh, by Brett Sellers. Uh, played that very well. 
Now Cooper just got to beat that bowl. Good bowl there by Cooper, but set up a bit of a target there by the looks of things. Any movement onto that uh, onto that bowl now and uh, could go back to Brett. But two great bowls by Cooper White Styles. Brett playing his uh, forehand, trying to reach the head. Still just the one. Taking one out. Good bowl there by Brett. Played with incredible weight. Okay, Cooper. Is he there? Not quite. Yeah, go down and have a bit of a look at this. Don't blame him in actual fact. Because it is a pretty good heading. Because this wonderful event, ladies and gentlemen, the 2023 National Development Series could not be brought to you if it wasn't for the sheer generosity of these wonderful sponsors. Right at home. In home care and assistance. And, of course, the Australian Institute of Sport. And the Gold Coast Tweed District Media would like to thank Bowls Australia for the initiative of having us live stream this wonderful event over the next three days. We've got some incredible bowls coming up for you. We've got another game this afternoon, a game of triples, two bowl triples, 18 ends. You know, it should be a crack of a game. Quality teams all the way around. This is the 2023 National Development Series. And there's some incredible bowls being played all over the greens. So they've got some, uh, some great players participating in this. It's an absolute pleasure to watch. Okay, Brett. Just got to crack an egg on that bowl, really. It was more than crack an egg. He's got to get it back to the the furthest bowl back on the right-hand side of the line is his, and the furthest one back on the left-hand side is his. So he's got to spring the kitty around about three foot, maybe four foot for those bowls to uh, to count. So uh, just got to play it with good weight. You'll get the result. Well, he's pointing that he needed more grass. Not quite. So, Coops. Not too sure what he's going to do here. He could crack an egg on that, maybe end up with two. Or he can... Uh, <laughs> End up a couple of feet short. I know this much is going to be pretty dangerous, whatever shot he plays. So Coops on his forehand. I'd like to just, just roll that bowl over and just take the kitty just back. To, probably end up with two shots out of it. Geez, that's a great attempt. That's a great bowl by Cooper. Great bowl. It uh, didn't do any damage. It looks like it's just the one now to Coops. One. 27-16. What a game. What a crack of a game this has been, eh? Hmm? Yeah, 17-16. Oh, sorry, 17-16. <laughs> the good old days. It's the first of 21. Oh, 17-16. The first of 21. 
So we've still got 27 minutes to go. So we've got plenty of time at this stage. All right, Cooper. Stick into his forehand, playing back towards these shadows there now of the shade cloth starting to come across the green. Not going to be too far away as his bowl starts pulling up as it comes in to the kitty. Yeah, very good first up bowl by Cooper. Couple of feet short. Okay, Brett. Got a good line on this one. Yeah, great weight too, Brett. Well done, mate. I right, could might change over to his backhand now. No, he said I'll just sneak inside that ball. Fair enough. Oh, not quite. Not quite. So Brett doesn't have to change too much from his first bowl. What a great bowl here by Brett. Yeah. Oh, probably just ran on a little bit. No, maybe in the count. Maybe in the count. You got to sneak around, sit this back bowl. Not quite, just running on a little bit. A great attempt there by Cooper. He gave it every opportunity. Okay, Brett. On his backhand, once again, he's really got it on the string coming back this way, but I think it's just going to be a little bit short with this one. Well, he's not actually short. His weight was absolutely spot on, just his grass line, really. Yeah, one down. Yeah, just running through the head. Need a bit more grass. Just the one down by the looks of it. Tried to play under his front bowls there by the looks of that. Okay, Brett. Little trail of the kiddies worth four shots to him, though. That's what I reckon he'll be looking at doing. Little trail. Not going to be too far away at all. But he's drawn another one. So, uh, he just didn't. He was after the trial, but he actually drew another one. <laughs> hey, good on you, Pete. How are you, mate? That yeah, looks like just the two. Okay, Brett, I'm going to determine what length it's going to be. Congratulations on your win too, Pistol.
Okay. Brett just hit the lead, 18-17. A cracking game, 22 minutes left in the time frame. A couple of shots in it, the first of 21. We're really into the business end of the game now. Not a bad first up bowl. Okay, Coop sticking to his backhand too. Has to just come around that bowl. <laughs> uh, good stuff, Jason. <laughs> Okay, just a little bit behind the head there, young uh, young Cooper. Because as you can tell from all his teammates on board here this afternoon, that uh, Cooper, of course, from the Mackay region, from the South Suburban Bowls Club, up in Mackay. Of course, Brett Sellers is from the Salander Lakes Bowls Club on Bribey Island. See another great bowl here by Brett. Just sneaking around his front one. That's very good correction with his second bowl. One thing about our great game is one thing it's all about the art of correction. So Coops needs a big end. I tell you what, he's got this pointed very nicely too. Oh, it's a great bowl by Cooper. Beautiful bowl. Yeah, I think he'd give you a run, Pistol. Playing pretty well, mate. This has been a crack of a game, Pistol. Hey, Brett, any movement on his front bowl may end up with shot, but I just don't think he's going to have the legs to get around that bowl. Another good bowl, though. Very good bowl. I still favour Cooper for one there. Doesn't have to change much with his second bowl. Even a little trail might be very beneficial. Last thing he wants to do, though, is knock this one in. Well, that's two. Great bowl there from, uh, from Cooper. So he's left a nice little shot on for Brett, though, there. There's a nice little... <laughs> Target through there. A crack of a game. You got that right, Dean. Hey, okay, Dean, how are you, mate? Hope you're well. Yeah, it's a shot he's got to play there, Dean. He's got to basically play through that head there. See what weight uh, Brett plays with this one. Oh, I think he could be a... Yeah, I thought so, just a bit wide with that weight. So Cooper holding two. Now, if he could actually trail that kitty about... Two and a half feet, he could end up with gain. No, he's not going to be there. It looks as though I think he may have done that a little bit on purpose. I think he just uh, didn't want to mess things up, but he played such two great bowls there. So Coop's back in the lead now. 19 18. Cooper White Styles over Brett Sellers. What a crack of a game this has been. Absolutely outstanding. Yeah, you're dead right, Dave. It is a dead set. Uh, it was a great bowl too, Kath. But it's dead set shame there's got to be a loser. You got that right. It's been a crack of a game, hasn't it? Like, I mean, two fierce competitors. We both know both are very capable players. But, gee whiz, they're putting on a great exhibition here this afternoon. 
So Cooper with his first bowl, playing away from the uh, soccer field end on the back green here, green four at Broadbeach. And this green is one of the best greens in the world, I can tell you that. What a great starter once again from young Cooper, not too far away, just pulling up a couple of feet short. Beautiful line. No, oh, Brett. Yes, back on his back end. Beautiful line on this one here. I tell you what, his weight's not looking too bad neither. Oh, just sneaking around the back. Good starter though. Very good first up bowl, that one. Evelyn, it's been a fantastic game, hasn't it? It really has been. It's an absolute uh, credit to both these great players, I tell you. An absolute credit to them. Cooper, once again, not far away. Yeah, great bowl there by Cooper. Yeah, you go a long way to get to see a better game than this, though, uh, Evelyn. Both players have uh, given their all. Beautiful afternoon here at... Um, Royal Beast Bowl Stop. Tell you what, Brett, not going to be too far away. Just sneaking around the back. And he's got a couple of good shots there. Uh, Cooper's really got to sit in that. Beat those two bowls. I think Brett may look to just crack an egg on that bowl and take it back. So Cooper really needs something in that region because it's on. Well, he's actually taken that option away from him, though, now, hasn't he? So that's a very good bowl by Cooper. A very good bowl. I know it's stuck it out in the open, but he's also gone with it. And he's actually holding game there, I reckon. Very close to it, anyway. We'll see what Brett does with this bowl here. Oh... What a bowl by, uh, what a bowl. Oh, I reckon, <laughs> I don't know. I think Cooper may still be, still have one. One shot, which would be that front bowl. He's, yeah, good idea, come down and have a look at this. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, while they come down, this wonderful game, once again, we've got a few minutes a few seconds, I should say, but this wonderful game could not be brought to you if it wasn't for the sheer generosity of these wonderful sponsors. The 2023 National Development Series is brought to you by the Right at the Home, in-home care and assistance, and, of course, the generosity also of the Australian Institute of Sport. And, of course, the initiative of Bowls Australia to showcase this wonderful event, and we, the Gold Coast Tweed District Media Team, uh, very, very grateful to showcase these wonderful games. And you'd have to admit, this is this is a crack of a game. The standard of this is just absolutely first class. So Cooper was holding game. Brett just played a gem of a bowl there to get second shot. So Cooper now with his last bowl. They've still got 13 minutes to play. 19-18 to Cooper. Two outstanding competitors out here this afternoon. Uh, Cooper's got a few to rest on if he wants to. So he's got the absolute opportunity once again to uh, to draw back and get game live, to put the pressure on Brett. But I'll have you think that Coop's done. Brett's more than matched. OK, Cooper. Oh, what a bowl. That is a sensational bowl by Cooper White Styles. So Brett Sellers, once again, has got the pressure and he's come to the occasion every single time, Brett. It's been an outstanding exhibition of bowls. Oh, 
All right, Brett. Gonna have a, a talk. Just fair enough to just gonna have a look. Yeah, he's talking to one of the coaches, which is fantastic. Utilising the experience that's on that's here today to help them. Absolutely uh, fantastic. See, Brett's actually got a shot on there. Is that if, he, if he goes to Kitty and gets it on the uh, right-hand side as we're looking at it and springs it out there to the left, he's got two shots there. He's got two, two bowls there. So it's, uh, yeah... Yeah, Terry, it really is a crack of a game, mate, isn't it? G'day, Christian. How you going, mate? Oh, yeah, I heard you had a bit of an accident up there, buddy. Wishing you all the best, Christian. Yeah, hope uh, for a speedy recovery, my friend. Yeah, it's a crack of a game, Christian, isn't it, eh? Absolute superb game. So the pressure on Brett is uh, game lie down. After it, absolutely, there's... Uh, that's it. Shame to have a loser in this game. It's been an absolute quality game of bowls. Okay, Brett Sellers. Bowl in his hand. He's made up his mind. On his backhand. What a great bowl. What a great bowl. That is superb bowling. That's a, that's a first class bowl. I think that shot by the looks of it. No. I think the tape Tom Tom got the tape. I know that in one of his hands, so they're waiting for Brett to have a look. What a great bowl, though. Gee whiz, that's a pressure bowl. They're going to put a tape on it. <laughs> Look at the competitors talking to each other, though. The, you know, it's just... I mean, even though it's been a fiercely contested game, they're still great mates. Yeah, yeah, you're dead right. So. Yeah, great game, Cooper Weistiles. Absolute gem of a game. And congratulations to Brett Sellers, too, for an absolute superb exhibition of bowls. Gee whiz, you see a long way. You go a long way to get a better game of singles than that, ladies and gentlemen. I think you'd all agree. That's an absolute uh, master class display by both those competitors. And I congratulate both of them. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, there's only eight minutes to go and we've got another crack of a game. Hey, thank you very much for those kind words, Flint. Very much appreciate it, Flint Hodge. Yeah, it was a crack of a game, Christian. It really was, mate. Good on you, Carl. Yeah, you definitely set, mate. I guarantee you, uh, Jason, your comment there. I think Pistol would be a uh, a distant second after that display by Young Kips, mate. So you can still see there's uh, the competitors. One thing I like about this, even though they're uh, being put together in um, in various groups of just yes, we said green and blue and red and yellow. The moment the game's over, they stand around, though, and still support each other, which is really fantastic to see. Really, uh, really is fantastic to see. So uh, an absolute uh, great game. And again, too, congratulations to Tommy Nathan, too. He marked it very, very well. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, uh, on behalf of the Gold Coast Tweed Recent Media Team, we just uh, run through our wonderful sponsors just one more time before we close. Of course... The 2023 National Development Series is brought to you at the Right at Home, in-home care and assistance. Right at Home, a wonderful organisation, helping people stay in their home and do a wonderful job. And, of course, the Australian Institute of Sport. We thank them very, very much for their sponsorship of this wonderful event. And the Gold Coast Tweed District Media Team would really like to thank Bowls Australia for the great initiative they have of showcasing this incredible series. And that game there just indicates exactly how good it is. 
wonderful game it really was, Dolly. Yep, it certainly was, my friend. And Kips is just there, so I'll tell him that uh, you've been on air watching it too, Dol. So, really been fantastic. So, I think everybody up north is very, very happy with that one. So, on behalf of Robbie Allen, myself, Brian Marshall, we'd like to thank you very much for your patronage. Next game, ladies and gentlemen, at uh, 3 p.m., it's the triples game. Chris Roseanne is up against Bo Prado. So, that should be a crack of a game. So, we look forward to bringing that to you. Back on air, ladies and gentlemen, at 3.15. Enjoy your bowls and support your club. Thank you very much. Uh, three o'clock, sorry. Three o'clock, I should say. Thank you.